Hi Year 9, Mr. Tuckley here for your next lesson of Year 9 Humanities. Um, this lesson we are looking at uh, reviewing and revising the key concepts, the ideas, the events, and the skills we've covered in our Term 1 Industrial Revolution Unit. So we've come to an end of the first area of history that we are studying in Term 1. Um, we're going to spend one week looking at Australian colonization and looking at how that connects to what's happened in the Industrial Revolution, so how that caused colonization and then how colonization caused Australia to be involved in World War I. Um, so that'll be next week, then we start World War I for the rest of the term, that's our unit. Um, but for the time being, we need to assess what we've learned <laughs> in the Industrial Revolution. So success criteria today, uh, you're not having a test or a quiz today. Um, today you're just having an opportunity to, I guess, revise, to prepare for the test. Um, so to demonstrate our understanding of the Industrial Revolution by creating a summary sheet of notes, which you'll be able to use in the end of unit quiz. So I'll explain what that looks like. So the end of unit assessment for the Industrial Revolution unit will be a quiz. It's not going to be a massive, you know, three page test. It's not going to be an essay, oral presentation. It's just uh, 10 questions, 10 short answer questions um, about the Industrial Revolution. So the key topics we've studied during the first three or four weeks of the term. To prepare for the quiz and review your understanding of the key concepts and skills we've covered, uh, this lesson you will be constructing a summary sheet or a cheat sheet or an info sheet, whatever you want to call it, um, of your notes. The summary sheet will be completed on a blank A4 piece of paper, so you have to write out the summary sheet. It can't be typed up. I'm not going to let you have your laptops, your iPads open during the test. Um, but you will be allowed to use this resource during the quiz in our next lesson. So it will essentially be it won't be open book because you won't have your textbook or your laptop, but you will have um, some information that you've written in your own words, hopefully, to help you study and to help you uh, during the test. Use your notes from the previous lessons, so notes that you've put into your digital or your physical notebook. Use the class slides and the activities and the textbook to summarize your understanding of the Industrial Revolution. So I've given you a little bit of a checklist um, in terms of what you need to know for the quiz, for the test. So the main events, concepts, and topics to address in your summary sheet are historical skills. So there may be a question that requires you to analyze a historical source or to demonstrate your understanding of chronology. So making a timeline or reading a timeline. Um, so that might be worth looking at the poor source, poor law act <laughs> activity that we did uh, last week or the start of this week, depending on what year nine class you are. Um, causes of the Industrial Revolution, so that'll be a big one, is obviously what caused the Industrial Revolution. We've done a little bit of work on that, looking at the main causes, so the agricultural revolution, technology, access to raw materials, etc., etc. And for each of these, I've tried to give you some advice on where to go to add to your summary sheet. So I've given you the textbook chapter, where you can find that, chapter two, and also the class slides in this presentation that we used for those lessons. Uh, the second, uh, I guess, main topic that you'll need to study is the 1834 Poor Law Act. So again, we did a source analysis assessment activity during uh, week three or week four, um, and you can find information about that in chapter 3.7 and the class sites. And then finally, the effects of the Industrial Revolution. So that was our most recent activity, our most recent topic. So looking at the positive and negative effects of the Industrial Revolution, and that's going to be found in Chapter 3 and Class Slides 34 to 42. So all you really need to do this lesson is use this checklist, find yourself a blank piece of paper, dust off your pen or your pencil, crayon, paintbrush, whatever you're using to write. <laughs> you just need to make one page, uh, one single-sided page, A4 piece of paper of summary notes, basically. And remember, if you don't have the textbook on you, the physical copy, you can go to Compass Resources where I've put chapter two and chapter three, you can also access the class slides and Google Classroom also has everything you need. So it has our class slides, it has chapter two, which is the causes. Yep. And chapter three is the impact or the effects of the industrial revolution. And you've also got access to your notebook there. Hopefully you've been taking notes each lesson and that'll make your life much easier during this uh, study lesson. So if you have any questions or concerns about that, guys, please let me know. Um, for 9E2, I believe we'll be uh, sitting the test on either Thursday or Friday. 9G3 will either be Friday or Monday next week. Um, 
I do want to have an opportunity when we get back to on-site learning to talk to you guys <laughs> and to make sure that you're feeling okay and that um, you're not feeling stressed or overwhelmed after remote learning and that you've actually been paying attention to the last couple of lessons. Otherwise, you'll have trouble in that test. So if we need to push it back and give people more time to study, then we can. Um, we have that uh, opportunity there if we need. But again, hopefully we'll be completing the test at the end of the week or the start of the next week. Um, yeah, any questions, let me know, guys. Hope you're well. Looking forward to seeing you this week. And cheers.